This video will explain how to configure a site profile to use a created PGP key pair. First, we will establish a connection to our remote site. For this purpose, we will use the Ipswich demo site. Click on the connect button. Once we're connected, there are two methods that can be used. One, you can click on the open PGP mode button here at the top. Once you click on it, it's going to pop up and says that it's enabling the open PGP mode. If you hit OK, it will come up with the open PGP key pairs to choose. Since we only have one key pair, we will use this key pair and we will use it for the encryption and decryption process. As you notice, since we maintained everything for this key pair, there's nothing lit that we have to enter. Click OK. And now our site is set up and ready to be used for encryption purposes. We will navigate over here and we'll choose a file to send over. Once you select the file and you transfer, notice you will have the open PGP encryption here and your file is now on the remote side using the .pgp extension. The other method for enabling the site to use PGP is to go to the site manager by clicking on connect. You bring up the site manager and you click on edit. Once the site options come up, you just select the open PGP under the advanced header. And here again is where you can enable the site to use open PGP automatically by selecting this box and then selecting this key and hitting OK. Now that we've done that, we're going to make another connection and you will see in the brand new connection that the open PGP mode button is already depressed. And then once again, we can choose a file, transfer this file, and again you see the open PGP encrypting and there's the file once again over on the right hand side or the remote side using the .pgp extension automatically.